We're getting our first look tonight at incredible pictures of a Caribbean Airlines plane that split in half while landing in rough weather in Guyana. That flight originated here in New York, and the question tonight, how did all 163 people on board manage to survive? NBC's Jeff Rawson has our report. As paramedics arrived, the jet ripped in two off the runway. It looked like another airline tragedy. This is one of the worst aviation mishaps in recorded memory in Guyana. But soon, passengers would emerge, all of them alive. We have to jump out the plane and, uh, and my shoulder here is messed up. After departing New York, the Caribbean Airlines flight stopped in Trinidad and flew on to Guyana. There, in heavy rain, the Boeing 737 touched down and skidded off the runway, stopping just 200 feet short of a ravine. Thinking it was over, passengers say they clapped. That's when the cabin broke in half. When the plane landed, I told my friend, man, we're going to die, we're going to die, because the plane, it don't have enough runway to stop. It, it, it happened suddenly. Everybody was hysterical, you know, everybody was screaming. There were 163 people on board. Dozens were injured. Most of them have already been released from the hospital. It's amazing to leave an aircraft in that shape with a handful of uh, very small injuries. While it's rare, planes have broken apart before with no deaths. Two years ago, this American Airlines 737 slammed into the runway in Jamaica, finally coming to a halt and breaking apart. All 154 people aboard survived. The seats have been uh, increased in strength so that they will now withstand 16 times the force of gravity before they, they uh, depart the floor. This weekend, the NTSB is sending a team to the crash site in Guyana, looking not only for what went wrong, but what went right. Jeff Rawson, NBC News, New York.